it's a, a hospice day. It's Berry Hospice who are uh, raising money. It's a sponsored church, individual sponsors. And we're about to get underway. And I do apologise, the uh, regular commentary team is not uh, available at the moment uh, due to we've had some technical problems with the sound. So uh, apologies, Vinnie Mauler here with uh, some commentary. But I hope you're going to enjoy the match here at uh, Park Lane this afternoon. Finnerford uh, get the uh, game underway. And the kicking from left to right, or the playing from left to right. And... It's an important game for uh, it's an important game for both teams. Um, a win for the Tigers today will uh, ensure National One rugby next year, and uh, Sunderford are currently uh, towards the uh, the bottom of uh, the uh, National One. And it's a dropout uh, for the Tigers by uh, Warren Seals. Kicked it halfway down the pitch, and uh, do apologise, but uh, like I say, our regular commentary team are tied up uh, on our Facebook stream, and uh, we'll hope to get to the bottom of the uh, Gremlins for the next match here at uh, Park Lane, which uh, is in uh, I think it's three weeks time on the uh, I think it's the 9th of April off the top of my head. Anyway, Luke Henderson there kicking it through and following it through. And uh, looks like the referee uh, noticed uh, maybe a late tackle from uh, Rhys there, but I uh, don't think he's uh, signalled the, uh, a penalty, so we carry on. Blanny, John Blanchard driving over the uh, halfway line. Matt Sturgis to Warren Seals to Matt Riley, Fed's captain. And that's his uh, 439th match today. Bob Burtwell now. Tigers pushing into Sunderford half. Matt Sturgis uh, just at the back of the uh, the ruck there, ready for a, a box kick. Sends it uh, high. Got hold of the ball now, and it's uh, a kick through. It's going to be taken by, or it's going to be left by Warren Seals, and it's a straight out. So it's uh, back to probably about uh, 30 metres out, and it's uh, a Tigers uh, line out. Harry Thompson, the Fell Sharks Academy player, will be uh, taking the line out, playing at hooker this afternoon. And it's his uh, ninth game of the season for the Tigers, the fifth start for uh, the uh, Sell Sharks Academy player. Bob Burtwell collects the ball and the Tigers start pushing. Sturgis out from the back to Henderson. Tigers uh, attacking now. That was Lewis Bradley. But, uh, it's turned over, but uh, the referee uh, brings it back for a penalty to the Tigers. And uh, will Warren Seals... Uh, yeah, I'd just like to thank uh, the team here today, Sedge Media team. I know it's uh, not a perfect <laughs> first live broadcast, but uh, Alex Evans is uh, my cameraman today and uh, appreciate uh, the work he's doing. My name's Vinnie Morley, and uh, if you're on uh, Facebook, you can hear the audio commentary, the full audio commentary from our normal team, from Tom Markham and Joe Barnes-Taylor. If you want to go over there, if you want to, you could m even marry up the uh, their commentary with the pictures on YouTube if you've got uh, two accounts. Anyway, Warren Seals, 22 metres out, just left of the post. He's going to uh, go for the uh, three points. Uh, 
and it's good from uh, Warren Sills and the Tigers take the lead and uh, it's a uh, five minutes gone first half it's Tigers three Sindiford nil Sinford now pushing forward uh, over the 10 metre line. <laughs> Bit scrappy there, and it's uh, a knock on there from Sinford. Tigers will get the put in at the uh, scrum. Oscar Crow there on the ground, uh, just getting up a, a bit uh, lazily. Looks like he's pulling up his socks, tapping uh, tight edge on Blanchard on the back there, and the team's getting ready to go into a scrum. That's good, just now putting the ball in after uh, quite a delay. Uh, currently uh, just coming up to nine minutes on the clock and the referee has uh, indicated the free kick. Mark Government wearing 20 today as uh, George Bordill uh, had an injury or was feeling ill at uh, short notice. So uh, Mark Goodman has moved into that number six and Will Connor is uh, a replacement. He will be wearing number six, although he's a replacement as the Tigers push forward. Sturgis to Seals, to Riley. Sturgis again, this time to Warren Seals. He's the ball's fallen out, but uh, the referee's indicated a penalty for an infringement. A high tackle. I think it would uh, be interesting to see if uh, Seals actually attempts a kick. The wind is across the pitch, so he's, he's going going for the line-out option. And uh, it's a fairly decent pitch. Uh, as I say, the uh, wind here at Park Lane today is blowing across the pitch, which makes uh, kicking a little bit uh, more tricky. Uh, but it's uh, taken the, the Tigers to 22 metres, maybe just a little bit too far out for line-out and drive. 
Ailes takes it, but it's not straight, looks like, from the referee, or he's uh, crossed over. It's going to be a scrum for a put in for Cinderford. Just the uh, current score is Tigers 3, Cinderford 0. Like I say, if you want to f uh, try and marry up the uh, the full match commentary with Tom Markham and Joe Barnes Taylor, you could do that on our uh, Facebook page. Just had a few gremlins bef just before the match with the sound, so you've got me commentating here. Not usually, uh, not usually me uh, task, but I'll try and uh, do my best to get you through to the end of the game. Keep you up to date with what's happening here at Park Lane. Looked like a bit of a scrappy uh, scrum there and a penalty has been awarded to Cinderford. And in infringement in the uh, scrum there, referee in, referee indicating. And uh, that ball, the trajectory of that ball looked like it was coming to hit us at one point there, but uh, luckily the wind caught it and Cinderford. Take the line out. So some uh, quick movement across the line. The, the referee looks like he's indicating a knock-on for Cinderford. So it'll be uh, a Tigers line out, 10 metres line uh, in the Cinderford heart. Uh, I'll keep you up to date with the score as much as I can. I was supposed to be uh, manning the scoreboard on our s on our uh, screen today, but uh, taking on commentary <laughs> duties at short notice makes it a little bit more difficult. But uh, 12 minutes gone, Tigers 3, Cinderford nil. It's uh, a Warren Seals penalty for the Tigers leading. Matt Sturgis uh, with the putting. Oh, it's a bit uh, another messy scrum. It looks like Cinderford have uh, collapsed a little bit. Ball comes out to uh, Sturgis. It's Andy Riley, Therese Anderson, and it's Will Bradley on the left. He decides to kick over. Has he got the pace? Is it going to go out over at the back? Just missed it. And very close. But uh, the ball ran out, so we come back to where uh, Brill, uh, Will Bradley uh, kicked the ball. Excellent attempt there from the uh, young 19-year-old. Came through the uh, the ranks at uh, Sedgley Park. Was a senior colt last year. Made his uh, first appearance for the Tigers uh, against uh, Otley last game of the season. Scott Barrow, the head coach for uh, Tigers, uh, opting to give him a run out once the Tigers had already uh, claimed uh, promotion from that two north and uh, he's taken uh, the advantage uh, I think he uh, played probably a couple of times in the first 10 or 15 but uh, last uh, few games he's been a regular here on the uh, the left and did he scored a fantastic solo try against Sale last week in that 35-24 uh, defeat at Haywood Road Scrum goes in ball goes into the scrum Oh, there's a knock on there. It's a very mixed one, but uh, the referee has uh, given a penalty to Cinderford. So I suspect the ball's going to come towards us again here in the uh, the main stand at Park Lane. And uh, we're safe this time. Oh, it's not gone out there. And it's gone back. Andy Riley uh, dropped it, but it went back. And Andy Riley kicks it forward into a little bit of space, 10 metres uh, into the Cinderford half. And uh, once again, it's a kickback. This time, Warren Seals in the uh, 22. He'll uh, opt for a kick uh, well along the right-hand side, uh, but uh, not towards the line. Oh, nice move. Or was it a forward pass, though? But uh, it's a try for Cinderford. 
there was a little bit of, uh, uh, I mean, obviously maybe a little bit biased, but it looked a little bit forward that last pass, but uh, it's a try for Cinderford, and that's uh, Tigers 3, Cinderford 5, with uh, 15 minutes gone. Shout out to our hooker, Danny Mayer, who's uh, put a nice comment on there. <laughs> Not supposed to be here, Danny, but uh, thanks, I appreciate the uh, comment. And a successful conversion. So Cinderford uh, have taken the lead. It's now Tigers 3, Cinderford 7. And the clock just ticks over to 16 minutes. And that was Tom Ailes. I was just trying to update uh, social media, but uh, Tom Ailes drives down a kick from Cinderford and the Tigers hit back straight away, just to the right of the post. Hopefully uh, one for uh, Warren Seals to add the extra two. And the uh, Tigers take the lead again, just after probably 30 seconds, in matter of fact, 40 seconds after uh, Cinderford took the lead. So Tigers eight, Cinderford seven. And Warren Seals with the extra two there. So current score after uh, 18 minutes, Tigers 10, Cinderford 7. <laughs> Reese Anderson taking the high kick there, making it look uh, fairly easy. Tigers are still in their own 22, though, so Sturgis to Lewis Bradley. Back into the ruck to Matt Sturgis, looking to a uh, box kick now. Oh, it's drive down a little bit. And uh, a little jinking wrong there, and Sinford looking uh, dangerous. It's coming a crowd ride. And uh, there's an advantage uh, play in for Cinderford. It's an infringement. And the ball just uh, stuck in the Cinderford, between the Cinderford's legs there, the player's legs there for a moment. And Cinderford's still driving forward, probably six metres out. And the referee has decided to bring it back for uh, the penalty. I suspect with it being in front of the post, it's going to be a kick to level the scores up for the visitors. Well, the uh, the stand is uh, there, so they're going for the kick, confirmed, and the uh, touch judges are behind the post. Yeah. 
And Jake Shortland uh, converts the penalty and the scores are uh, tied up again. Uh, 20 minutes on the clock, Tigers 10, Cinderford 10. So knock on from Cinderford and it's uh, a Tigers put in at the scrum, probably about uh, 17, 18 metres out. And it's important that the Tigers uh, uh, deliver uh, a couple of uh, scores when they uh, get into the 22. It's important uh, that uh, any win for the Tigers today secure a national one for next season. A win for Cinderford will give them uh, a little bit of uh, confidence of uh, getting out of the uh, bottom of the uh, National one relegation zone. And the penalty's uh, been awarded to ta Tigers and uh, Warren Seals is kicking for the line out and drive. Fairly straightforward kick that. So uh, let's see uh, what the Tigers have today now as uh, John Blanchard goes over to Harry Thompson, just gives him uh, which move they or which play they're going to uh, use. It's dropped early. It looks like it was uh, Oscar Crow that got it. They've turned it round. It's uh, two metres out, but uh, Sinford have driven the Tigers back a little bit. I'm not sure who's that. It looked like uh, Oscar Crow right on the far side from it, but uh, some sort of infringement there. And the referee has given. I didn't see the arm go up, but. Uh, is it knock on? It's a knock on, so it's uh, it's uh, scrum four, Cinderford, probably on the five metre line. Still dangerous, and I'm sure in the back of their mind, uh, after a Tigers try there from Tom Ailes, what uh, six seven minutes ago, that uh, they'll be uh, concerned about kicking it from their uh, their own try area. It's a little bit chilly here at Park Lane today. It's not uh, the type of weather you expect at the end of March. It is a bit windy. I've got to say, from my perspective, uh, uh, the wind is to the back of the stand, so it's not too bad where we're sat. Well, two packs are really uh, pushing against each other. Nothing's happening, but ball's out. Holding out, a little bit. Cinderford uh, uh, just slowing it down a little bit. There's the box kick. It's going to uh, Reese Henderson. It just took that uh, awkward bounce. Henderson's got a little bit of time. Jinx a little bit. Tackled Sturgis to Burtwell. Sturgis again, this time to Goodman. Mark Goodman tackled. Danny Rylance uh, battling there, but uh, it looked like uh, somebody in from the side there, so the referees uh, awarded a penalty to Tigers, about two, three metres from the halfway line. And uh, Warren Seals is going for touch on the right-hand side. I think the wind's going to be behind him there, so it's, uh, it makes more sense to go that way than uh, come across to the left side for the Tigers. And uh, it's not 
probably about 28, 29 metres uh, from the uh, Sinniford try line. Um, so if you can see the uh, touch judges flag there, you can see the breeze here this afternoon at Park Lane. So it's, it's hard to tell if it's going to be an advantage to either team. It's right across the pitch, so I'm not sure if it's uh, an advantage to either team. Looks like Burtwell from the track. It's gone to Seals, to Goodman, driving forward. Lewis Bradley over him. Sturgis going right to Thompson. Thompson to, is that Pope? It looks like Danny Riley's pushing forward. Go on. Tigers are really uh, pushing forward. Excellent piece of power there from the Tigers. But Sinderford have uh, stopped it and it's uh, awarded a penalty to Sinderford. About four metres out. So uh, Tigers really pushing forward. Really looking good there. But uh, credit to uh, the Sinderford uh, players. Stop the uh, Tigers on that uh, rolling mall. Maybe it was a, a knock on, uh, a little bit far away, as I say, from the those posts, and uh, it's gone to a scrum, so it may have been a knock on, and uh, I missed the signal there from the referee. Ball out fairly quickly, trying to uh, get a break on the right hand side. But uh, Ailes, uh, Tom Ailes uh, stops there, and Tom Ailes back in there. Tom Ailes not letting anyone past him. Lewis Bradley there uh, going low and hard. And Sinifer just slowing it down a little bit, going for the box kick. And it's uh, out. Actually, uh, it went over the uh, my eye line out uh, over the roof of the uh, stand here at Park Lane, and uh, actually, it uh, looked like it bounced on the line and went out. Not that it made any matter; it was uh, from the 22 meter. So Harry Thompson once again Blanchard having a word with Harry Thompson. Harry Thompson delivers it to. Uh, Oscar Crow, the lineouts have been uh, a little bit better this week from the uh, Tigers. Pope to Lewis. Lewis Bradley uh, makes five metres. Out to the right. Looks like uh, penalty to Tigers. I didn't notice that uh, there was an advantage there. Not rolling away. It's right in front of the post. Interesting to see if the Tigers opt for the kick or go for the line out and drive again. Spending quite a bit of time in the uh, Sinderford half. Currently uh, 28 minutes gone, 10 all. Seals does go for the line out, so it's a line out and drive again on the five metre line. From a Tigers perspective, the lineouts have been a lot better this week. All well taken. I think that was uh, Oscar Crow. Tigers piling in the back to uh, try and push that uh, more forward now. They're getting uh, some yardage. It's going out. Ball's come out. Not too sure who that is. It's been turned over, but it's another penalty for the Tigers. And it looks like it was for offside. And the referee has, uh, I think he stopped the uh, clock. Yeah, I can't see anybody uh, injured, so I'm not sure why the referee stopped that. It must be uh, the persistence of penalties, there's only been a couple of penalties. I've seen worse before the referees had a word with uh, with the captain. But uh, they're going for the line out and drive again. It was a straight kick for uh, Warren Seals along the uh, five meter line that time.
I think that's the first uh, line out that uh, the Tigers have struggled with today. The line outs have been pretty good. But Sunniford are still stuck within their uh, five metre line. And uh, Henderson passes it to Andy Riley. Just dropped a little bit. Comes across to Nathan Pope. Or is it Will Bradley? I beg your pardon. Nathan Pope is here in front of me. Coming out left again. Henderson. Henderson nearly gets through. He, he released it, but did that ball go forward? The referees uh, signalled. I think he signalled a forward pass. Uh, I think he'll, uh, the advantage will be over now. But the Tigers are back in the 20 sec with 22 with uh, Warren Seals. And he kicks it uh, out to uh, ease the pressure on the uh, Tigers for a bit. I think the conditions are a little bit difficult with the wind, but uh, we were expecting a little bit of rain this afternoon. And uh, we had uh, a couple of showers before the start of the match, but uh, nothing is uh, nothing's happening during the match. Or not that I can see. I'm, I've got to say I'm underneath the stand well wrapped up and dry, but right in front of us. I think it's been turned over by the Tigers there. Harry Thompson now, trying to make yardage. Sturgis looking for the box kick. And Nathan Pope chasing it down, but it's well caught by uh, number 11 for Cinderford. Going across the line now. It's down that left-hand side where the... Uh, were successful with the try earlier in the match. And I do apologise to any Cinderford fans listening, or for any fans listening, um, last-minute uh, check-in for me with the commentary. And uh, I didn't prep for the Cinderford guy, so uh, that's why I'm not uh, shouting out uh, too many of the uh, Cinderford names. So I do apologise for any Cinderford fans that are tuning in, or any fans that are tuning in, uh, listen, hoping to listen to players from both sides. It's not a, a complete bias, it's just that we had a few technical gremlins before we got going, and uh, the uh, two commentary guys are on our Facebook page at the moment, uh, commentating on the match. So we've got two commentary matches, uh, two commentators, commentaries going at the same time. But uh, unfortunately on Facebook, we haven't got the pictures uh, at the moment. Sturgis kicks it up. It's been chased by Henderson. It's probably knocked on there. The referee's uh, signalling that uh, there has been an infringement. And he does give the knock on and it'll be a put in at the scrum for Cinderford. Just uh, a check. It's uh, coming up to 33 minutes gone on the clock here. It's not always accurate, but they do try to stop it and keep it as uh, close to what the referee's seen at uh, the same time. But uh, 33 minutes on the clock, Tigers 10, uh, Cineford 10. And uh, one try each. It's important, I suppose, to remember that uh, both teams are battling for not just the win, but for bonus points to uh, ensure National 1 safety for or National 1 rugby for next year for both teams. Off the top of my head, Cineford are on 38 points and Tigers 52. So Tigers are uh, in quite a, a, a good place compared to uh, Sinderford, but they're not safe yet. A, a win here will guarantee, any win for the Tigers will guarantee. Sorry if you lost the uh, pictures uh, there for uh, a moment. We just had a... Well, the technical gremlin, but uh, we seem to have them back. Sunderford <laughs> now we're uh, trying to drive forward. And if you just joined us, the Tigers are in white today. We usually play in uh, claret and gold, but uh, it's a special sponsorship day for a very hospice, a sponsor and nurse. So uh, the, ti uh, the Tigers are wearing uh, a shirt that are individual sponsors. 
and uh, giving away a penalty there about uh, 45 minutes out and it may be the option for a kick but with the windy conditions it may be just that little bit too far to have a go a bit of discussion going on I think we might be yes going to have a go so Jake Shortland uh, will uh, be uh, making an attempt it's straight from and like I say the uh, for the Sinderford uh, fans watching the, the, the wind is uh, right to left as uh, Jake Shortland will be taking this kick so I'm sure he'll uh, be uh, trying to place it just outside the right hand upright for the wind to take it back but 35 minutes gone Tigers 10 Sinderford 10 this will take the uh, the uh, team from the Forest of Dean down in Gloucestershire lovely uh, place the Wells down there with the Tigers earlier on this uh, season and the Tigers uh, actually won that match. But uh, Jake Shortland, 45 metres out. He's got the length. And it's a good one from uh, Jake Shortland. Uh, Sinford take the lead, sir. 36 minutes gone, Tigers 10, Sinford 13. So just about three minutes uh, from uh, half time. Bit of a chilly day here at uh, at uh, Park Lane, and uh, I can just see my uh, cameraman trying to do a little bit of warming up there, a bit of exercise. Shout out to Alex Evans, my uh, cameraman today, doing a sterling job. And if you get to half time, I think I've got hand warmers, uh, Alex, for you. <laughs> Sturgis putting the ball in and uh, an infringement there. And it's a free kick for the Tigers. It's taken quickly. Oscar Crow just driving forward, trying to uh, pass it off to uh, Bob Burtwell. Right in front of the post, 20 metres out. Matt Riley drives forward further. The keeping left, it's Ailes. Back to Harry Thompson, he drives forward. This time it's Seals. Oh, a bit of a grubber, but uh, Warren Seals does well to hold it and not knock it on. Tigers 20 metres out in front of the post. Harry Thompson just drives forward. Bounces off the uh, Cinderford. Matt Riley to what? Lewis Bradley. Lewis Bradley driving forward. And it's a try there for the Tigers. One minute, one and a half minute before half time. Lewis Bradley on the left hand side. Drives over. Typical Lewis Bradley. Absolute powerhouse. And uh, gets the uh, Tigers uh, back in the lead. And hopefully that will take him uh, to uh, half time. Great to see uh, Danny, Danny uh, Openshaw, former Tigers uh, scrum half there, just uh, passing us. Might not have got him on the uh, screen there, but uh, nice to see Danny here supporting the Tigers. He moved down south and to uh, play, uh, I think it was Clifton, down towards Bristol. And uh, unfortunately picked up quite a nasty injury, which uh, finished his career. But always great to see Danny back. Always great in front of the camera. Used to have uh, a few interviews with him after the game. Warren Seals uh, lines up now. We've got uh, 40 seconds on the clock, so we will get uh, another start, I would imagine. 
the wind is going across so it's left to right so he might just place it on the left hand post for the wind to just bring it to the right that little bit the wind never even affected it straight through the middle that's great uh, kick there by Warren Seals Tigers uh, now lead 17-13 and this will be the uh, last play of the first half 39 minutes and 48 seconds on the uh, scoreboard here at uh, Bart Lane And that's uh, half time here at uh, Park Lane. Tigers 17, Sinniford 13. No dominance from either team. Maybe a little bit uh, extra of the territory for the Tigers, but uh, Sinniford looking uh, dangerous uh, each time they uh, get into the uh, Tigers' half. Uh, it could go either way this second half. We'll be back in about uh, 10 minutes with the second half. Do appreciate you staying with us. And uh, my name's Benny Morley from Park Lane. And. Uh, Tigers first, essentially Tigers versus Sinderford, second half coming up shortly.
welcome back to Park Lane where we've restarted the second half. Just outside there, twenty two, over on in this half. Sorry about that. So if you've got a little bit too much uh, sound there, taking the noise off the camera. Yes, we're underway here at uh, Park Lane. 45 seconds into the second half. Tigers 17, Cinderford 13. And Tigers have got a scrum 23, 24 metres out. Matt Sturgis just about to put the ball in. Once again, it's a scrappy scrum. It's collapsed. I think the uh, referee is going to uh, try and get that scrum to start again. Yes, once again, if you've just joined us, thank you for doing so. This is Sedge Media, our first live broadcast. Uh, we've had a few gremlins, so uh, it's Vinnie Morley on commentary. Should have been Tom Markham and Joe Barnes-Taylor, but uh, they're over on our Facebook page with audio commentary. Going to try and marry them up, if you're sick of me. And uh, as it was a last-minute uh, introduction, I don't uh, recognise the uh, Cinderford players. I would have done some, uh, obviously, some preparation, so do apologise for that. And uh, the referee's just moved it to uh, probably five minutes to the right for the Tigers. Maybe the ground is a little bit soft. We did have quite a shower at uh, half time, and I think it's still uh, a little bit of rain, rain in the air. I was saying in the first half that it was dry, but certainly there's uh, a little bit of rain now here in the air. I wouldn't say it's uh, throwing it down, but uh, you definitely can see from my perspective the big trees opposite. You can just see the rain in between. As Sturgis uh, puts the ball in again. And the referee's had enough of that and uh, gives a penalty straight in front. And uh, the Tigers take that kick in front. It takes them six points ahead. And just wait. Yes, I think uh, Lewis uh, Warren Seals has uh, indicated that we are going to uh, take the penalty. He's about 23, 24 metres out, as you probably can tell. And there's Steve Kay going out there. Scalpy, as he's known. And Steve's been with the uh, club for... Uh, over uh, 20 years, and I think he's probably missed two games. I think he, he told me once that he missed one game when the uh, Tigers win championship. Uh, they were playing in Jersey, and I don't think he's a great fan of uh, flying, so we opted not to go on that. Why would you turn down a trip to Jersey? Eh? One of the nicest places to visit. Anyway, Warren Seals has set this up. 23, 24 metres out, in front. Yes, and it's through. Tigers uh, now extend the lead. And uh, Tigers are 20, Cinderford 13. They're uh, a score ahead, as they say. And 44 minutes on the clock. Tigers up for uh, a quick penalty there, and Lewis Bradley once again powering through the Cinderford defence. Oscar Crow to uh, Bob Burtwell, is that? Sturgis to Seals to Riley. Riley goes inside a little bit, gets tackled on the halfway line. Sturgis option to go right to Seals to Pope. Just to notice there that uh, that looks like Ollie Glass that's on. And uh, Ollie Leatherbarrow has also uh, joined the Tigers in the second half. Not sure who they've replaced yet. I'll, uh, we'll be uh, looking to find out for Tigers fans. I'll let you know. But Sturgis kicks it forward. 30 metres out. Taken high. Great take by the Cineford uh, player there. 
And Tigers uh, give away a penalty. Playing the ball on the ground, hands on the ground. And it's going to be a line out just inside the uh, Tigers half, a couple of metres inside the Tigers half for Summerford. Sindiford really trying to push forward now. You know, making yards. It's got the off to uh, go really out uh, to the right there. Sindiford having a lot of possession here. Can they uh, make it pay? Sinford uh, having a lot of possession. They've not made an awful lot uh, of ground, but uh, they're playing it uh, across the pitch. They're making some yardage. And the referee brings it back to uh, halfway line. I didn't see uh, what the infringement was there, but uh, looks like it's 48 metres out. Jake Shortland uh, might opt to take it. He uh, it was 45. Point. Well, his body language is he's going to go for the uh, the line out. And uh, decent kick in the end, probably uh, 20 metres out from the uh, 30 try line. 48 minutes uh, gone, it's Tigers 20, Cinderford 13, National 1. It's a big game here at Park Lane for uh, probably the wrong reasons for both teams. If Sedge uh, get a win today, they will be secure in their National 1 place for next season. And Cinderford will be wanting to uh, win to try and uh, grab up. There's uh, very tight there, the bottom four. Sinderford's still got a good chance of getting out there if they can uh, turn their uh, turn the results. They are driving forward now. They are making a little bit of uh, advancement. It's moving to the left a little bit. And the Tigers are really battling back there. I can see Lewis Bradley there. It's uh, now on the ground and it's played to the left. Tackle there. And Sinford are looking a little bit uh, more dangerous now. They are making uh, the yards from the uh, line out from that penalty. As the uh, Sinford backs are moving to the left now. Opting on mass to move to the left. They're driving through Cinderford, edging out. Auto of and it's a try for Cinderford. I think there's a miss, maybe a missed tackle there from uh, from Warren Seals, and uh, Cinderford get through, and uh, that is now 20 Tigers Cinderford 18, and uh, 30 minutes to go. Just uh, 50 minutes on the clock.
straight shot and uh, with the conversion, it looks good. And it is, and that's uh, tonight. The uh, scores are evened up again. It's a very tight match here at Park Lane. Tigers 20, Sinniford 20. Go silent for a, a little bit. I'm trying to uh, keep the uh, Tigers Twitter page up to up to speed as well. So I do apologise for the uh, the gaps. The rain you can actually see now is uh, driving across the pitch. Absolutely belting it down now. Terrible conditions. I uh, suppose it depends which team can make the best of these. Uh, Tigers uh, let that ball bounce there from the kick. Could have been dangerous. It's not really paid off too badly. Luce Bradley now driving forward. The Tigers faithful calling for uh, an offside. The referee's uh, playing on. So Danny Ryland's piling forward now. Sturgis going right to Seals, to Leatherbarrow. Ollie Leatherbarrow all making uh, yards there. Sturgis opting to go blind side right to Harry Thompson. Leather Barrow again on the uh, left. Sturgis decided to go left then to Leather Barrow. There's an advantage to the Tigers. I think it's not rolling away. Riley to Glass to Andy Riley. Andy kicks it through to, oh, I think uh, that was Will Bradley on the left. Just missed the, uh, the bad bounce, but the referee is bringing it back for the uh, penalty. 52 minutes gone. Tigers 20, Sinderford 20. Hopefully for the next uh, broadcast, we will have the scoreboard on the uh, screen. And uh, Warren Seals is opting for the kick. I think the uh, the range just dry, uh, just uh, tapered off a little bit, but uh, it's still uh, chucking it down. And just as I say that, and just as uh, it puts it, uh, sets the ball, it starts chucking it down again. So it's not going to be easy for uh, Seals. It's, uh, as you can tell, it's probably about uh, 30 metres out, just right at the post. But the rain is absolutely belting it down there. I'm glad to say that uh, we're under cover. And looks good, and it is. Uh, so uh, Warren Seals uh, edges Tigers back in front. 53 minutes gone, Tigers 23, Sinderford 20. little bit of uh, football there not going to get uh, signed up by uh, trying to think what the local team is around uh, Gloucester if any Gloucester fans uh, out there tell me what the local team is around there apart from Gloucester City bit of kick uh, kick tennis at the moment the Tigers are driving it forward now Oh, it's a bit of a bad pass to Danny Rylance. He did well to hold on to it in these conditions. Seals decides to opt for the kick. It's skidding, it's skidding. And uh, you can see there how wet it is. The Sinderford uh, player there just to slip in on the, uh, the wet pitch. A bit undecided what to do there. And the referee has uh, indicated a penalty for Sinderford, not rolling away by the uh, Tigers player. Takes a little bit of pressure off the uh, the Gloucester team. 
kick oh it's a little bit uh, skewed we didn't get much distance on that so it's not taking too much pressure off uh, off the Simba team not sure if you can get uh, get the grasp of the weather here at uh, Park Lane right in front of us Going out, it's a li looked a little bit just uh, towards the tiger side, but uh, Simba did claim it cleanly. <laughs> yep, I think that might have been a tackle taking him up into the air. There might be a yellow card here. Yes, I think the referee's put his hand in his pocket, and uh, it's Bob Burtwell. So Tigers down at 14 as Bob Burtwell sees yellow. I think that was, uh, you probably saw it better than me. Uh, I think it might have been for, uh, yes, it is. The uh, referee has indicated that, picking the player up. And Simiford now got the advantage uh, until the 66th minute. 56 minutes gone, Tigers 23, Simiford 20. And Simiford will uh, feel they've got an opportunity to take advantage now as... Uh, Bob Burtwell, the big number four for the Tigers, is resting at the side, having uh, seen the yellow card from the referee. Line out is good for uh, Simiford, and they move it quickly. Sinniford are now making uh, metres, should I say. I keep saying yardage. It's giving me the age away. Trying to move the ball a little bit quickly, it looks like, than they were in the first half. Obviously, three points behind, and they do really need a win, so they, they are pushing as quickly as possible to uh, get back into the lead, especially why they've got the advantage of uh, the extra man. Opting for the right, uh, they look to have a. I was going to say they look to have a man over. I did miss the see one of the Tigers uh, guys on the uh, try line there. But Sinford still moving this ball around. They're just uh, playing along the 22, right to left, going left now. Still pushing it, and it's a nice uh, offload. To but was it knocked on? I think it's knocked on. The referee is indicating that uh, there's an advantage being played and it is a knock-on and it will be a Tigers put in. It is uh, five metres, six metres out, so it's uh, still pressure on Tigers, but hopefully they can uh, manage to uh, clear the lines. And apologies to any Sinderford fans if I sound a little bit uh, biased. I'm trying to uh, call the match as uh, best as I can without being too biased, but... Uh, Hope you uh, take the apology for that. Uh, do it inadvertently. I'm trying to be as fair as possible, but uh, as you can probably gather, uh, I'm part of uh, the Sedge media team, so it can be difficult. Still raining, so it's been fairly cons uh, fairly persistent since uh, half time, making the conditions uh, worse. It's not as heavy as it was about uh, ten minutes ago, but certainly. Uh, not ideal conditions for either team. We're uh, just clicking over to or towards 60 minutes, so 20 minutes to go. Tigers 23, Sinderford 20. Two tries each. So just to say that uh, if you joined us uh, recently, the Tigers are wearing white because it's a special uh, day. It's Ladies' Day here at uh, Sedgley Park, and uh, it's a sponsor of shirt. So each uh, of the Tiger shirt has got a special sponsor on. And at the end of the match, my understanding is the uh, the sponsor will get the shirt. They get a uh, um, couple of meals, a bit of pre-match hospitality. They spend £150 sponsoring the shirt. 
and the money that uh, we raised is going to Berry Hospice to sponsor a nurse, which is uh, in the locality. Uh, we're actually based in the borough of Berry, uh, Sedgley Park, which uh, is North Manchester, if you don't know, if you just joined us and you don't know where uh, Sedgley Park is. The uh, borough of Berry, about, uh, probably about seven, seven or eight miles north of Manchester city centre. And for the M60, if you're... Uh, if you're thinking of coming along, it's probably about a mile or so off the uh, M60. There's Cinderford drive forward. And the referee have uh, indicated a penalty for Cinderford. Opt in for the uh, line out and drive. Uh, thought Jake Shortland might have tried to even up the score, but uh, I think with uh, Cinderford having that uh, extra man advantage for another five minutes with Bob Burtwell in the sin bin. They were uh, taking the chances with the line out and drive and uh, try to get uh, in the lead. And it's a clean line out for Cinderford. They are driving forward and it's uh, about three or four metres from the uh, try line. I think there is an advantage and they've got a try here on the left hand side. And it's Will Baldwin for uh, Cinderford on the left-hand side. That extra man advantage paid off for uh, Cinderford. And uh, 62 minutes on the clock. It's uh, Tigers 23, Cinderford 25. Jake Shortland with the conversion. It looks a bit right this time. And uh, yes, it's about five uh, metres wide. So the score stays at uh, Tigers 23, Cinderford 25 with uh, 17 minutes to go. Once else uh, starts the uh, game again, it's uh, a bit scruffy by Cinderford, but it didn't go forward, it just went up in the air backwards a bit, so they're not penalised for a knock-on. And uh, it's a uh, kick to touch, and it'll be a line-out for Sedge, uh, just uh, next to the 10-metre line. And it looks like the uh, rain may have stopped now. It's, uh, it looks to be uh, a little bit drier. Line-out from Harry Thompson. Uh, I think uh, oh that was Oscar Crowe that got it. Lewis Bradley's now driving forward. Tigers fans will want to see uh, more of that. Riley, Matt Riley to uh, Nathan Pope. Sturgis to Blanchard. Blanchard's driving, driving, making uh, metres. Sturgis to Seals. That was Pope. Back to Blanchard again. Sturgis to Seals, to Matt Riley. Seals, oh, he's, he's past one tackle, past two. He's making uh, into the 22. The referee has given an advantage. Not sure why that was, but Tigers are going with Oli Bar uh, Leather Barrow. Rylance on his right. Lewis over the rook. Sturgis to Matt Riley to John Blanchard. 15 metres out. Leatherbarrow again drives forward. 
Matt Riley to Warren Seals. He decides to go inside, making yards. Just shot. Yes, Warren Seals on the left hand side. It looked like he uh, wasn't sure what he was going to do, but he saw a gap and uh, made some metres, and Sinderford weren't uh, about to stop it. I mean, both teams are under pressure here. I'm under pressure here, but what a cracking game this is. Uh, as uh, an advert for rugby, may not be the most uh, high class of rugby uh, because of the conditions, but from an actual uh, performance point of view or an entertaining point of view, this is uh, fantastic. So uh, Warren Seals, I think that's his uh, third try of the season, maybe his fourth, but uh, we're on 66 minutes and it's Tigers 28, Sinderford 25. Seals with the kick. Looks good, and it is good. So Tigers have taken a five-point lead, 30 to 25. It's important to uh, note that uh, off the top of my head, it's uh, three tries all. So one more try for either team will uh, earn a bonus point, which is uh, fairly crucial uh, at the bottom of that one. And uh, just while uh, Warren Seals was getting ready there, uh, Danny Rylance came off and Ozzy Downham uh, came on. Ozzy Downham in a good uh, run of uh, form at the moment with the uh, try scorer in. And I'm just checking Bob Birtwell should be back on now. And he is. I can just see him uh, getting up there from that rook. So it's uh, back to 15-all. Uh, Good players. That was a uh, bit of a tricky pass there, but uh, well taken. Could have been a knock-on, but a uh, little cover through, and I think the referee might have uh, stopped the clock. 12 minutes to go. Tigers, 30, Cinderford, 25. And I can see in the periphery vision that uh, my cameraman's warming up again. Alex Evans doing a sterling job there. Yeah, the referee has uh, stopped the clock. Oscar Crow coming off there and Will Connor coming on. Will Connor, a late uh, replacement for George Bordill, who uh, I think came downhill, but uh, that was a loose throw. Sinderford uh, take advantage of that. And they are pushing forward again now, making some metres. So oh, it's a bit of a loose one. Oh, oh, and uh, Andy Riley nearly picked that up, and it's gone. Oh, the ball's going all over the place. I don't know what the referee knows what he's doing. There's a knock on both ways, so I think it's going to be a scrum and a put into Cinderford. But that was uh, an exciting uh, little play there. I think the conditions may have uh, may have uh, attributed or contribu contributed to that. I should say. Well, it's uh, nervous times now. We're at 11 minutes from full time. It's Tigers 30, Sinderford 25. Important game for both teams. Sinderford second from bottom on 38 points. Tigers, I think, fifth from bottom on uh, 52 points. So definitely more important to... Um, Sinford than it is to Tigers, but uh, Tigers aren't safe, so uh, and they're on uh, a lean run of form recently. They're not uh, won in 2024. So there'll be an opportunity for Sinford to uh, grab this. Tigers will be desperately wanting to uh, get back on to winning ways. They had a great start to the uh, Nat 1 season. 
up till Christmas. They were doing fantastic. Beat Chinner at home. Beat Birmingham Mosley home and away. In top top three, top four. But uh, since the turn of the year, just not got to the rub of the green. They've uh, been leading a few games. They've uh, collected uh, eight bonus points in that time. So the Tigers haven't been getting hammered. It's just they've not been picking up those uh, all-important wins. I think the uh, I think probably the biggest uh, defeat of 2024 was at uh, Taunton Titans. But it's still scrappy in the centre of the pitch. Uh, Sinniford still trying to move that ball quickly to get uh, back into uh, into the lead. But the Tigers uh, battling bravely. Need to not give any uh, penalties away. Need to try and force an error on uh, Sinniford. Oh, and that could be a yellow card for Ozzy because uh, Ozzy down him because. And, and the referee uh, believes that he knocked it on purposely. So the Tigers will finish this match with 14 players, well, at least 14 players. As uh, Ozzy Downham had only been on the pitch for about eight minutes, tried to, I think he'll say that he tried to intercept uh, the ball there, but uh, the referee deemed it as a deliberate knock on. Eight minutes to go, Tigers 30, Sinniford 25. So I'm not sure if Scott Barrow will uh, opt to uh, see Reese Emerson just walking past. Don't know if he's opted to bring on a, a forward and take off uh, Henderson, the winger just to try and shore up uh, after the loss of uh, Downham. Sinniford going to the right now, opting for the right. It's way too meet line coming to the left. Oh, that's a loose ball. And Sturgis decides to kick it, get it down the pitch, and uh, goes out about uh, 30 metres from the... Uh, and if a try line, probably the right thing to do there for Matt Sturgis. I think he was thinking of picking it up, but uh, I think with uh, seven minutes on the clock and uh, down to 14, he opted to uh, not take the risk. Looks like uh, Adam Mallinson's coming on for uh, Harry Thompson. And there's a few big br breaths there from uh, the uh, Sale Sharks Academy player. Sterling game from uh, Harry Thompson. Looks like he's given his all for the Tigers today. Adam Mallinson, uh, second season at uh, Sedgley Park. Very experienced now for the Tigers. Comes on in place of uh, Harry Thompson. And Sinford uh, making advantage and making uh, metres with uh, this mall. It's come out uh, of the uh, the mall. I'm sure now the, the Tigers will not want to give uh, any penalties away. Although they are five points clear with uh, six minutes to go. And there's a penalty for the Tigers. And it looks like it's uh, not releasing. I think the loud applause you can hear from the Tigers fans are uh, a bit of relief. They know there, uh, there's a bit of pressure here. And uh, Warren Seals will uh, try and make as uh, much uh, uh, meterage with this kick. It's not too uh, far in from the touch, five metres in. A little bit of a slice there. But it'll be uh, interesting now how uh, Tigers do with this uh, line out. Adam Mallinson just come on a couple of minutes ago. It's his first line out. Blanchard coming over with the uh, tactics. Five in it, Blanchard, Ailes, Connor, Burtwell is speaking to the referee, he's not happy with something. And it may have been that, uh, I'm not too sure, it may have been that there was too many in the line out there, I'm sorry, but if you've seen that at home, you probably 
may have picked that up before me, but they're going 5-5. Five, five. Burtwell, nice clean take there. Five minutes to go. Tigers are pushing forward now. Need to start moving it. The referee's uh, indicating for him to move it. Ollie Glass in the middle. Sturgis. So, oh, Leather Barrow. Leather Barrow onto, oh, to Mallinson. Mallinson knocked it on. Just couldn't uh, hold on to that ball. And Sinford gets uh, the putting at the scrum. About uh, 35, 40, just before, probably 35 metres from their own try line. Clock ticking down to four minutes to go. Danny Ryland's coming on, swapping for Ailes. So they decided because Ozzy Downham is off. They needed somebody for the uh, scrum. And uh, Tom Ailes, who scored the first try for the Tigers in the first half. Driving down the uh, kick from Sinderford. Makes way. And that's we're coming to the end of uh, the game. Three minutes, three and a half minutes to go. I uh, hope you've enjoyed the uh, the broadcast. It's our, our very first here for Sedge Media. It's not gone as uh, we planned, I'll be honest with you. Uh, it should have been our commentary team on there on the Facebook at the moment. But uh, if you can give us a subscribe, we'd really appreciate Sedge Media. We'll be keeping you up to date with uh, all things Tigers. As the ball is kicked out. And it's on the full. So the uh, Tigers go back to where it was kicked. So uh, quite a um, bit of a mistake there by Cinderford. So go back to uh, probably about 25, 26 metres out. Adam Mallinson uh, ready for the, uh, the line out. The referee is keen to get uh, Tigers players into the line out. Obviously the uh, clock is uh, on Tigers side at the moment. It's done it. It's Will Connor that uh, takes it in the line out. The Tigers are now pushing forward. The ball seems to stop now, but uh, they are just moving it on a little bit. Can the Tigers keep going? Edging forward, 10 metres out. Ball comes out. Not so that. Will Connor now drives forward. And uh, and not releasing. Is that not releasing or not uh, rolling away? It's a penalty. That's uh, dangerous for the Tigers. They just needed two more minutes to uh, keep that ball. And uh, they pay for it. Sinniford, probably the last chance to get down to the... Uh, Tigers at end and uh, grab a win. It's 90 seconds to go. It's Tigers 30, Cinderford 25. Off the top of my head, it's uh, three tries each. It's a clean take by Cinderford. They have got the extra man advantage for these last two minutes. They're not making much headway. They now move the ball out. And it's important for Sinford that they can't get that ball moving. Conditions have just uh, dried up a little bit. It may be a little bit better for handling the ball. But still a little bit greasy. Danny just uh, stood out of the way. Danny Rylance there. And just keeping that ball moving. The clock's uh, ticked over to 79 minutes and 10 seconds. The ball's gone back in the ball. They're playing it out. They just need to uh, get a break, Cinderford. But the Tigers are fighting it back. The ball's loose again. Cinderford have the ball back. Thirty seconds on the clock. Cinderford just can't get out of their own half. Tigers are holding them in, but they have got man over. Oh, then that's a knock on. And the seventeen seconds on the uh, clock. So, Tigers will run the clock down with this scrum. 
and if the referee indicates that it's match over, if they win the scrum, it'll be a uh, ball out. I've got to say, I did see a game uh, here probably uh, three or four months ago where we were in a similar situation and uh, the ball got turned over on the scrum, so it's not clear. The referee is urging the players to move on. I'm not sure if he's indicated that uh, the time is up. But uh, it's the uh, Tigers 30, Sunday for 25. The clock has ticked over to 80 minutes here at uh, Park Lane. And we haven't got connection with the uh, referee, so we don't know exactly what he's thinking, but you'll betcha if it gets out and we kick it out. Leather Barrow with it. And the referee does signal it, and that's National 1 Rugby 4, Tigers next season. Final score, Tigers 30, Tigers 30, Sinderford 25. Cracking game here at Park Lane. And uh, the first win of the season for Sedgley Tigers. And it's at the cost of uh, Sinderford, who put in a brave effort all through that match. And uh, it was a close game to the end. It was edge of the seat to the end. But uh, those four points, four Tigers and one for Cinderford, which may be important for them in for the rest of their season. But uh, Tigers have uh, sealed uh, National One Rugby for next season here at Park Lane. I hope you've enjoyed the broadcast. I'll say it one more time. Please give us a subscribe on Sedge Media. It wasn't the broadcast we intended today, but I hope you really appreciated it. And uh, I just want to say once more, thanks to uh, my cameraman, Alex Evans, it's chilly here today. He's been chat keeping himself warm and keeping you all uh, with uh, up to the speed with the match. And uh, why not give us a comment, a like, and tell us uh, how we need to improve? I know we need to improve. You're not going to you're not going to surprise us. But uh, this was the first live broadcast from Park Lane, uh, I think, ever of uh, Sedgley uh, Tigers matches. And uh, just want to thank everybody and uh, wish uh, all the best to uh, Cinderford and uh, have a safe journey home. And uh, thanks for tuning in and. Uh, Keep an eye out for our next match, hopefully, here in uh, three weeks' time. Thank you very much, and uh, goodbye from Partley.